Tyrone was in the intensive care unit. The room was dark, the room was quiet, and Tyrone says, well, I knew I was never gonna play for the Enzo Olympic hockey team, so I'm gonna go play for the Paralympic team instead. I've been in Ottawa since I was about 10 years old, uh, outskirts of Ottawa. It was quiet, kind of hanging out in, uh, in the forest sometimes, and dirt biking or, or whatever. So uh, lots of pond hockey. Um, yeah, it was pretty, pretty relaxed, which is pretty good. Tyrone is a quiet, but steely determined individual. He has shown me over and over that you can't take him down. Tyrone, in a nutshell, is um, super easygoing. He's like can be a bit of a tease at times. Um, he's very motivated, and he works extremely hard. Ty's one of those people that you can always rely on, no matter what you need. He's definitely a very dedicated, hardworking dude. He's very quiet behind the scenes, but he definitely puts in the work like nonstop. He was not the flashy player. He was the one to be the stay-at-home defenseman and uh, protect the goalie. And uh, he just is really good at reading plays from the very beginning. I always enjoyed watching him because he knew what to do. My accident was a car crash at night. We were a few hundred meters from the house uh, on, the, on our way back uh, home and uh, we just, lost control of the vehicle. The, the two younger boys, they made it home and went through the door and uh, woke up Marianne and then told her that they had crashed. And so, of course, she went and called me just before she was leaving to say that the kids were in an accident. She has no idea how they are or if they're even alive and um, I need to come home right now. Right away, you, you know something's wrong. Um, you can't get out of the vehicle, you can't, you can't do anything. Tyrone ended up having surgery um, to um, put rods in his back to stabilize everything there because he had destroyed a couple of vertebrae. I actually was introduced to sledge hockey actually a few months be prior to uh, my car crash. I was watching uh, the Canadian team play um, in Vancouver. And then as soon as I was in my crash, I was, and I knew I couldn't walk, I was all automatically thinking about playing hockey. Tyrone got back on the ice about a year later. You know, it was hard for the first while, but he kept at it. That's something that kept him going, it gave him meaning. It's like that's the one thing that he could do and he could just go out and play hockey. His mindset was, what can I do next to get to that next step? And especially as someone who just recently went through my own accident and being in a chair is seeing that mentality, it, it definitely helped me move forward and especially find sport, which then added to my own recovery as well. I made the team uh, about five years after my crash. It was a pretty emotional moment for me and my family, kind of just showing them that I made it. When he was named, Oh my goodness, like, dude, this is your dream. And so I'm so happy for him, of course. Oh, that was like so exciting. Of course, I was super excited for him. I didn't really have any doubts that he was gonna make the team because of how hard he had worked. He's been dealt a hand and he never complains. He's always positive. It's just so nice being with him. I just, I love hanging out with him. Having them around for support is huge. If I wouldn't be able to, to do this without, without their help. My kids used to say, you know, you know, as they start getting taller, right? No doubt I'm gonna be getting taller than you. <laughs> so I'd say, I, I, I'd respond saying, you know, you can be taller than me, I don't care, as long as you have a greater stature than I. So, that's, I think that's what he is. Mm -hmm.